Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be covering uh, kind of another tech gadget that uh, I don't want to say it's in the whole theme of September with our survival tech or our outdoor tech, but uh, eh, kind of. Um, we've done some videos on like the uh, camp stove on how to keep warm. Well, let's do a complete flip on that and how do you keep cool. Uh, so this is a handy cooler and what this is is it's an evaporative fan and it's supposed to cool the air up to 30 degrees Fahrenheit so that's a pretty big boast um, so we're gonna unbox this and then I'm actually going to put it to the test and see if we actually if it actually is gonna live up to this um, I have my doubts but we're gonna give it a try uh, so what this is is it's a kind of like a little mini personal air conditioner and so you can use this outside and it does say cools the air cools you anywhere uh, so you can use it in the office you can use it outside um, all sorts of different uh, places that you want to use it to try to keep cool if you go to games uh, and you want to try to keep cool if you go out camping and you want to keep cool uh, you can give this a shot all it requires is water and to have this uh, battery charged so you can actually use it. So let's take a look at the box before we unbox it and uh, as you can see it does say handy cooler um, 30 degree Fahrenheit up to 30 degree Fahrenheit personal evaporative cooling fan cools the air cools you anywhere and you can see here golfing resting in sports sunbathing camping barbecue and picnics amusement parks watching a game, pretty much everything I've already said, wow. And um, for indoor uses, uh, yeah, ladies, if you have high flashes, thanks to the great thing of menopause, I guess you could uh, use it in, uh, in the home and office. Um, so like me, they uh, jack the heat a little too warm in my office in the winter. This might come in quite handy for me on that. And on the back, you can kind of see how this works. It does have a filter, it looks kind of like a sponge. Um, they call it the cooling filter. You get it wet and it uses the evaporative um, part and you can actually hopefully feel the coolness. And as you can see down here you can charge it from like a USB port. Uh, so if you have a USB charger, laptop, whatever, you can just plug it into the USB and this will power the fan um, for that. And it does say real portability, battery powered operation at a lightweight personal scale. So, without further ado, it does say down here what you're going to get in the thing. We expect to find a handy cooler, a USB cable, a 65 milliliter water bottle, and a water cooled sponge, which is their filter. Which it does say that that would last about a year. That uh, you may have to replace that within a year's time. So let's go ahead and unbox this and see if everything they say that's in the box is in the box. So immediately we have the instruction booklet, the sponge, it's very very thin, probably until you get water in it, then it probably expands a little bit, and looks like we're going to have some twisty ties to get off here. So let's go ahead and take out the actual unit itself. And there you can see here's where you're going to get the air escape. Here is the speed on and off. Got a strap handle that you can kind of control. There's an open for batteries. Take that. So you do have some looks like four double A batteries there. Um, I can get this back on and uh, we'll get back to that later. There is an adapter for the charger and here's where you would put your sponge back here. So not a whole lot to it but uh, there is the device itself and we should have a cable and a water bottle still so there's the charger. This is a USB to some type barrel so that will go in the adapter and run it and then we have a water bottle Trying to stay in the container. There we go. There we go. So you have a little personal refill bottle. 
that you can carry along with you uh, to recharge your sponge filter. So that is everything in the box, which is exactly what they said was in the box. And uh, so we're going to put this to the test, like all this uh, tech, um, outdoor tech, survival tech stuff that uh, we've been doing this month. We're going to put this to the test, see how it works, see if this actually boasts uh, what can do, what can boast, and cools uh, air up to 30 degrees Fahrenheit. I am very curious to see that. Um, and we're going to try it indoors, we're going to try it outdoors, and uh, see if we get similar results. Um, you can probably feel it a little better if it's warm outdoors, if you uh, see how well it cools the air out there because it's intaking a lot warmer air. So we'll see how that works. And uh, I'll have a link in the show notes guys to where you can purchase this. When this first came out, and I did see it when it first came out, it was like an $80 fan. And I'm like, oh that's just way too overpriced. Uh, this has dropped to like $29.95. Um, I don't know if they're manufacturing them more cheap or they just decided, hey, the sales aren't worth it uh, at this price point and lowered it. Or maybe this is just a temporary thing and click on my link now and get it while it's $29.95. Um, and, you know, this gets, it's got mixed reviews. So that's why I was kind of leery, but then when it dropped to $29, I was like, yeah, you can't really go wrong for $29.95. Um, you know, even if it doesn't work all as great as it says, you're only at $30, and hey, you're going to have a, a personal fan that might provide some little cooler air that's out there, but um, hey, we'll give it a shot. We'll see what we get. Stay tuned for that. Um, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up and a subscription to the channel. Um, like I said, really helps out, guys. Uh, I'll continue to try to produce some quality videos and some new wave tech and We'll try to come up with some themes every month now. You know, like I said, I'm going to come up with, uh, in the fall, kind of an outdoor. Because people will be hunting, camping, all that kind of stuff as the temperatures start to come down. And uh, hunting seasons start opening. Uh, so, you know, all this kind of stuff is stuff you can take out on hunting expeditions and camping expeditions. And make your uh, time out in the wilderness, outdoors, a little, a little more, you know, refined and, you know, not so rough. Right? Anyway. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take care.